Welcome to this new and special edition of the Queer God Squad. We are the coolest pastors you will ever meet. Faith and religion can be complicated for the LGBTQ plus community. Survey shows that evangelical faith is the justification for the greatest attack on the LGBTQ plus community. So the Queer God Squad is going to explore our religious community. Explore the big news of the day and what it means to you. And we are going to explore if we can find some places that help heal the pain and hurt that religion can be responsible for. We know you are going to find some hope, peace, and fun in our conversation. It's 3 p.m. and the Queer God Squad is broadcasting daily. This is live and then we are available on demand. We are available on all smart televisions, including Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, YouTube, and Facebook. In the entire world, nothing like this has ever existed for the LGBTQ plus community before. I am Reverend Dr. Darrell Watkins, the senior minister here at Sunshine Cathedral. I am the Reverend Dr. Robert Griffin, the executive minister here at the Sunshine Cathedral. I'm Reverend Dr. Ann Atwell, the Minister of Connections here at Sunshine Cathedral. I am the Reverend Kevin Tisdall, the Minister of Education at Sunshine Cathedral. Radical GOP and evangelicals have launched a culture war on our LGBTQ plus community. They want to push you back into the closet. We're not going. At Sunshine Cathedral, we're here to tell you that you are God's miracle, not God's mistake. Our commitment and partnering with Happening Out Television Network and Queer News Tonight is to give the LGBTQ plus faith community this voice for change, for hope, that you are not alone. Here we go. It's time to join the dissent. We invite you to the Sunday celebration at Sunshine Cathedral. Join us here in Fort Lauderdale or watch the 1030 AM live broadcast by Happening Out Television Network on all streaming TV and social media channels. One of the many highlights of our service is called the clarion call. According to the Human Rights Campaign, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer people do not have full equality in this country. Newsflash. And the rights, they tell us, the HRC, the rights that we do have are being stripped away at lightning speed. More than 525 anti-LGBTQ plus bills more than 525 anti-LGBTQ plus bills, more than 525 anti-LGBTQ plus bills have been introduced in 41 states, in GABA 50, 525 anti-LGBTQ plus bills have been introduced in 41 states this year alone. We're just in month seven and more than 75 have passed into law, have become law. That's a little mind numbing. So I'm gonna say it slower so you catch it. More than 525 anti-LGBTQ plus bills have been introduced in 41 states this year alone and more than 75 have become law. We are living in a state of emergency, HRC says. On the HRC website we read, in a radical decision the Supreme Court has issued a ruling in the 303 Creative LLC versus Elena's case. This unprecedented decision will have sweeping and harmful impacts on the LGBTQ plus community and is a dangerous step backwards, end quote. The Atlantis decision says that a business can't be made to express things in conflict with their religious convictions, and the religious conviction specifically in question is the condemnation of LGBTQ plus people. Now, I just want to insert here that, hello, I am in priestly drag. I am in a church. There's a steeple on our roof. There's an organ behind me. There are stained glass windows. This is pretty churchy situation, right? We're going to talk about the Bible in a minute. We're singing hymns. Like you would think, I would be all on the side of religious freedom, and I am. But you are free to eat or not eat pork. You are free to worship on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or not at all. 
You are free to believe whatever you want to believe about communion. You are free to be baptized or not baptized. You are free to be Muslim or atheist or Buddhist or Hindu. You are free for all kinds of things. You are free to believe. You are free to express your belief. But discrimination, I don't get to believe that certain people are not fully human. I don't get to believe that anyone doesn't deserve the same rights that I have. That is not a religious belief. That is a prejudice. And I can call it a religious value, but it is still discrimination. It is still hatred. It is still injustice. So that's the difference. Yes, you can worship a rock. But once that rock tells you to hate me, we have an issue. <laughs> About the ruling, President Biden released this statement. In America, no person should face discrimination simply because of who they are or who they love. The Supreme Court's disappointing decision undermines that basic truth. And painfully, it comes during Pride Month, when millions of Americans across the country join together to celebrate the contributions, resilience, and strength of the LGBTQI community. While the court's decision only addresses expressive original designs, I'm deeply concerned that the decision could invite more discrimination against LGBTQI Americans. More broadly, the decision weakens longstanding laws that protect all Americans against discrimination in public accommodations, including people of color, people with disabilities, people of faith, and women, end quote. My clarion call today is very simple. I want you to visit the hrc.org website, hrc.org. You can do it right now. I don't want to hear it. Don't, don't turn, there's a little video, and we don't want to hear that little video, but you can do it right now, hrc.org. In the upper left corner, read, join the dissent, and then click on Take Action Today. There's a petition for you to sign. They'll ask for a donation because they're a nonprofit organization, and we all do that, don't we? That's up to you whether or not you make a donation. But what I want every person who hears this clearing call to do is sign that petition. I can't promise it will make any difference in the world, but what I can promise is what never makes a difference is doing nothing. And so go to hrc.org, and you'll see what to do. And may God's blessing be on all who stand on the side of love. Amen. Amen. Clearly, we're here, we're queer, God loves us, get used to it. That is what's on my mind this week, and we have lots on our minds, don't we? So let's discuss what we have on our minds, starting with you, Robert. What's on your mind this week? Oh, what's on my mind this week? So uh, I was recently in uh, D.C. area for my niece's wedding. But a part of that was the drive from Florida all the way up to the Washington, D.C., Maryland area. And as I was driving up, I just realized how much tension fell off my shoulders as I left the state of Florida. <laughs> that sounds a lot. Like every yeah. mile that got behind me, it's like I felt less and less stressed about the politics that are currently happening in the state of Florida. You know, you end up in Georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina and then back in Virginia. So I was just, you know, as I was driving that 1,050 miles, my mind floated on all the different politics uh, that are in each state right now and the things that each state is up, is up against, you know, whether it's voting issues, whether it's uh, uh, rights for health care, different things. And so, uh, the trip up was just like a release of what was going on here, but the trip back was a reminder that we still have so much work to do. Yeah. Right. And what's on your mind? Well, um, the big thing is I'm going to be away. I'm going on vacation. <laughs> so that, 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 that is nice. But what is really weighing heavy on me is we've had a lot of loss. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of loss this week. I lost a very dear friend. Our community, our um, congregation lost uh, a dear friend as well, and another friend is quite ill. And there's a lot of heaviness. Mm. There's a lot to carry. And when we think about the queer God squad, we think about calling out and recognizing what is happening in our community and in our nation. And there's a lot of grief mm -hmm. around that as well. So I, I just have been thinking about um, how we can carry and how we can support um, so many people who are going through a grief journey. There's there's an awful lot right now, but Sunshine Cathedral and our community, we are here and we are together and we will get through all of this together. Absolutely. We do have a, a balance between the prophetic and the pastoral. Yes. And uh, yes. Yeah, so we always run of that. Kevin, what's on your mind? The Supreme Court. <laughs> I know that they are on hiatus until um, October, but 
after decades, and I mean after decades of preparation, we now have a Supreme Court that has a six to three ultra conservative majority, and it is politicized. I don't care what the Chief Justice says, I don't care what any of them say, this is the most political Supreme Court that I can remember ever seeing. Mm -hmm. And it's even worse because not only are they a conservative court, they are puppets of billionaires. And yeah. Chief Ju uh, uh, Justice um, Thomas has a number of billionaires in his back pocket, and they have the Supreme Court in their back pocket. And talking about religion, all of a sudden we have a court that has decided that their religious beliefs are more important than the Constitution right. of the United States. Yeah. We have got to be as noisy and as loud as we can to let the world know that this court is an aberration. There are nine justices, eight Christian, and six of those Christians are Roman Catholic. Mm. And uh, so that's a lot of that's a lot of ideology uh, uh, concentrated there. So, well, Robert, you were concerned about uh, politics, and and Kevin, you're concerned about the judiciary, and Anne, you're concerned about grief and and, uh, and and so I just want to say to people, um, you may be concerned about all of those things or any of those things or other things, and you can always just send an email to prayer at yeah. sunshinecathedral.org yeah. and we'll be standing with you uh, no matter what your religious belief are. Maybe you don't even think you know anything about religion or, or prayer. Still, there's at least four people who are going to be on your side and pulling for you and wishing you well. What harm can that do? So uh, if you've got anything that's weighing you down this week, Forever, just send us a little little note to prayer at sunshinecathedral.org. Perfect. We are excited to tell you we are going to cruise the Eastern Mediterranean this fall that will include the world's major religious sites of Christians, Jews, and Muslims as we visit Athens, Egypt, Israel, and Ephesus on our Three Continents cruise. You can find out more and reserve your space at happeningout.travel backslash sunshine. Would you like to join the Queer God Squad on a special winter cruise in 2024? Well, now you can. You will visit Cozumel, Mexico, Grand Cayman, and Ocho Rio. And you can even add an open bar and Wi-Fi. Join us by going to happeningout.travel slash sunshine. Happening Out Television Network is a 501c3 nonprofit media platform in the television and radio model of PBS and NPR, but designed for our LGBTQ community. The Queer God Squad is part of one of the largest LGBTQ media companies in America, Hotspots Magazine and Happening Out Television Network. Our mission is to support the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ community, including the black community, Latino, lesbian and queer women, trans students and youth, seniors, HIV and AIDS healthcare, social justice, business, and our 10th pillar is faith. Help us support our LGBTQ plus community. That's today with the Queer God Squad. We want to thank you for joining us. We're here daily at 3 p.m. to have some fun and to discuss what our LGBTQ plus community is talking about. Sunshine Cathedral is the world's largest progressive queer church. Progressive, queer, and God are words that naturally should go together, and we all are in this together. Remember that you are God's miracle, not God's mistake. Until next time, we are the Queer God Squad. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.